After returning from a week-long vacation, the deputy who shot and killed a 74-year-old Spokane Valley man was questioned by investigators today. Deputy Brian Herzl gave his version of what happened between him and Scott Creech August 25th. KXLY 4's Tanya Dahl is live tonight with the latest. Well, Deputy Herzl was actually questioned for two hours today by major crimes detectives, and he was able to give them his account of what happened during that deadly shooting. Herzl says on the evening of August 25th, he showed up to the parking lot of Plant Farm to check on a prowling report that was called in. And according to the deputy, Scott Creech, was, who both owned and lived at the nursery with his wife, approached him holding a firearm. A press release says Deputy Herzl got into a verbal argument, uh, had a close encounter with Creech, and that's when one shot was fired and the 74-year-old was shot and killed. Creech's wife says her husband thought he heard a burglar and went to investigate. Instead, obviously, that's when he approached that deputy who was sitting in that unmarked patrol car. Today's questioning comes nine days after that deadly shooting. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office has come under fire for not questioning Herzl immediately after that shooting and allowing the deputy to leave on a planned vacation with his wife. Creech's daughter Serena tells KXLY 4 News late this afternoon that the family has been disappointed with the investigative process. The family has many questions on their minds, including what steps deputies are required to take when trespassing on private property and why the family received different accounts of why Herzl would be when, excuse me, Herzl would be questioned. We're told that a private meeting is actually scheduled for next week to determine what other information is actually going to be released to the public that won't jeopardize this investigation. Uh, we put in requests for on camera interviews with the sheriff and the police department. All were uh, denied. Reporting live, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4 HD News.